you're wondering how I'm really doing, um, this is pretty intense, I won't lie. Um, the weather came in and socked us in, and it's minus 30 out right now. I've never stayed on the land in an igloo in polar bear country, but uh, this is the reality of where we'll be tonight. And we'll be safe, but uh, <laughs> a little out of my element and a little nervous, uh, to tell you the truth. Anywho, polar bear photography. Woohoo! My mitts are frozen. Yeah, mine too. We have fire. Mm -hmm. It's already getting dark. Yeah. If we're in the cab cabin, it's completely dark. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was a good decision to, to stop. Mm. Weather will be better tomorrow, I hope. Environment fork. There we go. Yeah. Environment Canada forecast was not right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Said sunny day today. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's supposed to be. Well, it's going to be an interesting night. Okay, back those days, we we trying to find the perfect snow that you can keep up uh, with, with your body heat. Like back those days, we never used to have plenty of not uh, for the stove or kerosene for the stove so every time we make tea hot water ready tea boiling turn the stove on for the night until morning turn it on make tea done turn it on so how did you stay warm david uh, if it's a good snow good uh, being on a good ground this heat is heating up for the for the It night. stays in the in the igloo. E. Wow. Done right to the top. Yeah. Uh, after tea, uh, when you turn off, you put your mid caribou mid to the chimney. Oh. Air, air lock. Yeah. And they gotta be fill up very tight. All the little holes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's not leaking. Yeah. So you warm all night. And nowadays, in, in, in a caribou sleeping bag. Yeah. No matter what. Huh? And nowadays, nowadays what happens? Uh, you just kind of dig, find the, find the snow enough. And you got enough heat. <laughs> if you get cold, you can turn on, leave it on all night. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we made it through the night. First night in a in a igloo ever for Jason Banta. Well, three quarters of an igloo, <laughs> but it's what we could do given the snow conditions. So, little worrisome la yesterday with this weather that came in, but all good now, and it looks a lot calmer. So hopefully, like David said, we can travel today. On to the polar bears. David, we made it. We made it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a lot rougher coming in, but a lot smoother than last year. Yeah, not bad, eh? Not bad. You didn't know if that heavy load would make it with all the fuel, eh? Yeah. I thought I was going to get stuck on the beach somewhere, but I made it. We made it.
Yeah, yeah. Where yeah. are the polar bears? No polar bears, but there was one inside. Not really? Long, not long ago. Wow, let's take a look. Yeah. If we were inside, we would have been so scared. Holy, look at that. Polar bear tracks right there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good we thing we weren't. To, What's to that? Down, maybe push. Yeah, smelling, eh? Mm -hmm. Good thing we weren't in here. There you see lots of hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, my big one, I see polar. Yeah, yeah. Barely fit through the door. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a new door this year, though, right? Yeah, we're going to fix the door, the walls. And we're going to be good home. Yeah, with good run, home. With running water, electricity. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't know you put it, I didn't know you put electricity in. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't, we didn't bring that trouble light. If we do, we could have. Yeah. Thanks, David. Hey. Wow, this is where we're going to stay. And yes, there was a polar bear here that came right into the cabin. You can see his tracks right there along with the Arctic hare. Yeah, he was in here. Kind of neat. We've never come where there's been a bear right in the cabin. But anywho, we made it here safe and sound after a night in the igloo. And uh, now it's time to get the cabin all ready for us. So we're going to re-insulate some walls. We're putting in a proper door that the uh, co-op so generously donated to us and we brought some insulation and tarps and we'll get to work here and look it out there yeah this is the home of the polar bear the arctic ocean ice and the edge flow all right to work we go hey david hey there's no bit no job too big for us we travel anywhere in the arctic to do any type of construction work you need done. Mm -hmm. What's the name of our company? Uh, crazy, crazy Nanooks. Uh, <laughs> crazy builders. Crazy Nanook builders. builders. Yeah. Because last night they built igloo, and now they start hammering. They're crazy. <laughs> anyway, we're getting there. Yeah. Looking good. Oh yes.